Hi, I'm Juan from CureUV, and I was hoping to make this video to answer some of the frequently asked questions that we're getting inundated with um, in regards to COVID-19. So I made a list. This isn't a planned video, so please don't judge us on it, or you can judge, but you know, do as you will. Uh, I have a couple of frequently asked questions. I'm going to go through them. Um, and first, as a sort of disclaimer, nobody has ever tested or tested and published COVID-19 on UVC. Um, everything that we've, all the information we have is our best conjecture and our best knowledge from the, you know, peer-reviewed published reports and papers for other viruses, bacteria, and, and molds. We, we don't know how much dosage it would take to kill COVID-19. Everything is just best guess to try to get help to as many people possible, okay? So I just wanted to get that out of the way. This is merely meant as, as an aid, right? Okay, so first it's important to talk, look at COVID-19, how much it lasts on surfaces. Um, again, this is not peer reviewed, this is one report. Um, the report said, and I'll, I'll put a link to it in, in the description. Uh, the report said on cardboard, it can be 24 hours, on stainless steel, two to three days, plastic, two to three days. Um, when they aerosolized it, um, it was in air for four hours. That probably wouldn't be as bad as coughing, but it's, it's your estimate to make and uh, in copper, four hours. So just some information to kind of answer those questions. Um, another one we get is, uh, well, let, let's start off with UVC safety. So we get a lot of questions. Can I use this on my dog, on my cat, um, on my nanny? Anything that is alive that you want to maintain alive and healthy, you do not want to hit them with UVC. The way that UVC works, the reason why it works is because the part of the spectrum that is UVC between say 100 and 280 nanometers, that part is blocked by the ozone layer. So since it's blocked by the ozone layer, no organism really developed any significant resistance to it. Evolutionarily speaking, we just didn't have to. So it kills bacteria, viruses, mold, but it also harms us and harms other animals significantly. If you were to hit a plant with it for a very long time, it would kill it. If you were to hit your, your eyes with it for a long time, it would cause significant eye damage. Same thing with your skin. So you always want to treat it, even if it's not plugged in, you want to treat it like a loaded gun, always wear the safety glasses. We include safety glasses with every product that you buy that you can turn on by itself. Not necessarily for bulbs, but if you buy a system, even if you don't buy glasses, we're going to throw on glasses. So that save some money on that. So always wear the glasses anytime you touch them. Play it safe. Um, you definitely don't say, oh, I'm going to hit someone's clothes or my dog when he's not looking. Don't do that. There's other ways to sterilize and to clean that are not UVC. Um, this is really made for surfaces, potentially for air when the room is empty. Okay, now that we have that down, um, you'd be surprised how many people call about that, especially the nanny one. Um, okay, so, okay, once I covered the glasses, these are the ones we send out for free. They come in a variety of colors, but you notice I don't wear glasses normally. If you need them to go over glasses, um, then you have to buy one. Unfortunately, these are great. They're made by Honeywell. They're called Ubex, and they're wonderful. You can find them on our website. They're 10 or 15 bucks. These are big goggle style, so they will fit over your glasses. Just a little help. If you can stand to not wear your glasses for a little bit, and then you put these on, that works as well. Another thing to think about is you don't need to look at where what you're killing because it's microscopic. You can't see anything. So if I'm using this and I turn it on, I don't need to look exactly what I'm, you know, is it doing anything? Like, you can't tell that it's doing anything, okay? So, eye protection, for sure. If you're using it lightly, that's that's the most important thing. If you're buying one of our more powerful units, um, skin protection is important, right? <clears throat> so, there's always reflective surfaces that might reflect a little bit of the UVC. You want to be extra careful. Just like you can get a sunburn when you're skiing, you can get some damage from UVC when you're hitting stainless steel and 1% of it comes back on you. The beauty of it is you don't need some crazy expensive UV shop coat to protect yourself. Almost any cloth and definitely denim will block 100% of it. That's the good thing. So wear gloves. They don't have to be fancy gloves, just gloves and don't show any skin. If you're showing skin, that skin could potentially be hit by UV, right? Um, it's not the same as getting a tan. UVC is more harmful than getting a tan. Um, having said that, okay, so we're covering skin. If you're using it, you know, cleaning company or hospital, you're using it on a regular basis, one of the powerful handheld units, these are good, but I would err on the side of these. Um, 
You can get them from us or from other people, or if you have welding helmets, I'm not trying to monetize or profiteer in any way. That's one thing I want, I want to make sure. Um, two big questions, I'm gonna, slight tangent. If you can get product from any of our competitors, please do. There's no bad competitor. If they can give you a system that lights up with UVC, 254 nanometers, that's good. Please, if you find someone who has in stock and it can ship today, go with them. Um, we are shipping as quickly as possible and we are allowing certain hospitals and first responders to cut in line for obvious reasons. Otherwise, you know, regardless of price or anything like that, we are going first come first serve. So if you're using it, back to this, if you're using it all the time and you're running a cleaning company, get one of these. Uh, it's a little bit sci-fi 70s, but it blocks everything. I don't need to worry about any reflection because I'm completely protected. Cheek, face, skin, it's all good, as well as the eyes. And then I don't have to worry about, oh, I wear glasses normally. I can wear glasses under this just fine. Super cool, right? So that handles that question. Uh, okay, which which one is right for my home? Um, now, a lot of the things you see on here um, are overkill. We make them for industrial cleaning companies, um, really you know big horticulture outfits you probably don't need to spend seven hundred dollars on a sterilizer for your home uh, something you can do great is a two-pronged approach for your home this one which is our cheapest one it's now 120 dollars. it started at 100 our cost has gone up by 20 dollars. we're not profiteering we're not price gouging our cost went up by 20 dollars, a little bit more so our price went up by 20 dollars. Um, eventually we'll run out of the orange ones we have a yellow one and we'll provide that one as well. Electrically, it's the same. So this one allows you to tackle anything that might have higher degree of contagion. So you go as, as close as possible, stay at least five to 10 seconds per spot and move very slowly over it while wearing your glasses, right? That's, this one is great for the home. The other one is one that I'm gonna, if you can look up on the screen, I'm gonna pull it up. This one is great. It's $279.99. This one, the, the components are made in China, so when we run out, we run out. Um, but it's a great unit. You place it in the middle of the room and you you can walk away, get your pets, get everything that, that's alive out of there, and then you can run it. Now for this one, we recommend, if your room is bigger than 10 by 10 feet, don't just run it for 10 hours, but run it, separate your room into 10 foot by 10 foot quadrants and run it 15 to 30 minutes in each quadrant. That does two main things. A, it uh, it helps you shorten the distance between the UV, right, UV ray and the virus or any sort of contamination. And B, it eliminates shadows, which takes me to my other point. Again, slight tangent. Um, this was not a planned video, you can tell. The most important two things to know when you are dealing with UVC for sterilization is A, distance, B, shadows. So distance is that the fall off is exponential. So if you can look at the screen now and zoom in, let me know when you're there, just give me, okay. So when you're one inch away, and this, this is a chart for something else, it's not exactly that equation, but it's that shape. When you're one inch away, you might be getting a really high amount of UVC intensity. Don't think, now I'm 10 inches away, I'm getting 10% of that. You absolutely are not. At 10 inches away, you might get one tenth of 1% of that. So distance is everything, the fall off is really steep. So keep it as close as possible. That's why a handheld unit is so useful. Don't, don't hold it here if you're trying to get something here. Hold it right up to it. That's why the little guard is for. Do it so you're almost touching the guard. And if you do that, um, you're gonna sterilize things as quickly as physically possible. That also protects you from accidentally, you know, hitting someone else who's in the other room, right? Because it's gonna be only right here. So that's one thing, distance. That's why for the big, even for the big units, even for the you know, the competitors of ours or partners of ours that make $10,000, $20,000 hospital units, they have people put them in the, in the OR in the center. It would actually be better if they ran them in different parts of the OR for less time because distance is so important, right? So not to bad mouth our competitors or partners or anything like that. Again, everyone who can provide product to you right now is wonderful. Um, so that, that tackles the, the distance issue, right? The other issue is shadows. So. If something's being blocked, if I'm doing this and I take a really, really powerful, let's say this is the 95 watt and I'm hitting this with all its force, 
If there's a bact some bacteria, uh, bacteria culture right here, nothing's gonna happen to it because the light won't hit it. It's like Lion King. Everything the light touches is your kingdom. So essentially, you wanna move things around to eliminate any shadows. If the light's not hitting it, it doesn't matter how much you spent, it's not killing anything. Um, so that, with that in mind, it's important to, it's better to get a small unit and move it around the room a few times for less time. That eliminates both distance and shadows than it is to spend as much as you can on a unit and run it for 10 hours in the center of the room. Okay, so hopefully that's handled. I'm getting rid of this. Let's go to the next page. Uh, so, okay, so this unit is great, has a remote control and has a timer. You set it, you turn it on with your glasses on as if it's loaded. You walk out the room, you walk out of the room and you let it run for as long as you, you can, right? Um, if it's more than 10 by 10 foot room, so divide it into quadrants and run 15 to 30 minutes in each quadrant, as much time as you can spare. With nobody in there, nobody should see the light. Now, we are gonna run out of these because these components are made abroad. When that happens, if you have an order in, it doesn't mean you're not gonna get it. It means we're gonna upgrade you. So we're gonna upgrade you to our 100% US made unit, which is this one. This one is 95 watts, it's more powerful, um, it's more expensive to make, but we're not gonna upcharge anyone. They're, they're all gonna get, you know, whatever they paid for. Um, this is it, it's cool, it's more powerful. It doesn't look maybe as polished. We ramped up as quickly as possible. Um, same basic premise, you turn it on, you walk away, and you run it for this one, 15 to 15, 15 by 15 um, foot quadrants, okay? This one is made entirely here in Delray Beach. Moving on to the next unit. I believe I covered this one already. It's this one that I have here. Uh, so this one you run, um, it's pretty much for home use. The beauty of this one is we assemble so many of them that this is the one that's least back ordered. So this one is about five days away, five business days away, which is good. Uh, and we're catching up little by little. Now we're, when we run out of these orange ones, we have this yellow one that is virtually identical, but it's yellow. Frankly, we're just, it's, it's parts that we, uh, you know, take apart and modify to, to make these, right? So it's just availability of parts. Same price, same thing. If we run out of the orange ones, we're gonna send people the, the yellow ones. They can always return or cancel. We're very flexible with that. We're just trying to get as many products out. Let's move to the next product. Okay, this one is the Germaway UV Mobile UVC Surface Sterilizer. This one is great. It's 60 watts. Um, this one, if you have one already, or if you've ordered one, already you can't buy any more now we, we can't get these anymore um, it's good to use these in 15 by 15 foot quadrants um, again for 15 to 30 minutes if you can only run them once then put it in the center of the room it's it's pretty powerful and the bulbs are really long but again it's better if you can do it in 15 by 15 foot quadrants okay if you place one of these and we can't provide it um, as we're running through our incoming inventory we will upgrade you and we will upgrade you to this unit this unit, the difference is it's made in America, so it's more expensive, but it also has more features and a longer warranty. Instead of three months, it has a full year warranty and it has a motion sensor. So if you forgot something or your kid runs in or the cat runs in or whatever, and you run back in there, it turns off automatically. That's a nice feature to have. It's not absolute necessity. If you're very careful, it's a nice feature to have. The beauty of this one is it works very well. It has 60 watts, it has long bulbs, and we make it here in Delray Beach. so. Even if the world burns, we'll be able to make them, knock on wood. So again, anyone who's made a purchase, they're gonna get a product, they might get upgraded. That's the situation we're at right now. And if you get upgraded, you'll get upgraded for free. Um, okay, moving on. This one is the most extreme handheld system. This, again, if you're getting it for your home, unless you're immunocompromised or, or you have certain, certain issues, then it might be overkill. Uh, because it does the same thing that the orange one does, but it costs five to seven times as much. Um, there's two versions, one is 55 watts, one is 95 watts. Usually these are bought by cleaning companies that, you know, that work with, uh, with hospitals and first responders. So it's very powerful, it's a little bit heavy. It's made here in Delray Beach. We'll be able to keep producing them. Um, the beauty of it is it's there, if you're one inch away, it sterilizes everything in you know, a couple seconds. Uh, and it's really long. So if you're covering big boxes that are coming into your facility, with the 95 watt, you're able to tackle a box in just a few seconds, as opposed to the little one, you know, you might you might be there for a while. So in that, from that regard, it's nice. It's uh, it's a little heavy. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Again, and we make this here in Delray Beach. 
And moving on, the 35 watt handheld. 35 watt handheld is cool, it's really powerful, um, it's really intense, but it's small. So it's light, it's ergonomic, and uh, again, it'll kill everything in just a couple seconds, which is nice, let's say three to four seconds. It's not as long, but that, that allows it to, uh, to be really intense per inch. So it's 35 watts, but it's only like a six inch bowl. The other one's 55 watts, but it's a 24 inch bowl. And there's the 95 watt, which is same 24 inch bowl, but you know, more intensity per inch. Hopefully this is clear. Let's move to the second to last one we're talking about. We get a lot of calls about this one. We don't make this one. Uh, it's, it's a great unit to keep in the car. Um, it's probably one, one fourth or one fifth of the power of the orange unit, but it works on batteries. So you can get the, the gas pump, you can get any other surfaces that you can't control outside of your house. If you have access to a 120 volt you know, power to just plug and play wall outlet, you don't need this, you could probably use the orange one. These, um, although they're made abroad, we have a pretty reliable supplier and we're still getting shipments in. Finally, is the mountable. This mountable is just like that big handheld that I showed you, but it's mountable. This one we use for ambulances or for any, uh, you know, food processing equipment. Um, might be overkill for virus prevention, except, except for ambulances and, and hospitals, uh, but same premise. There's a 55 watt, you know, 24 inch bulb, or you go to the 95 watt. That's the most powerful and the biggest. So it can be pretty effective. I think that's most of the things. Let me just review the questions that I get. <clears throat> oh, shipping. So a lot of people say, I paid next day air. Why didn't you ship it? Just because you paid next day air, we're not gonna skip people online. Next air is the method that we ship. The red text on each of the pages is when it'll ship. So essentially, if you look at these, like, uh, so it says any purchase of these wands at this time will be fulfilled in three to four weeks. We're probably better than that at this point. We're probably two to three weeks out, but look at that for when it'll ship. Then you can pick your shipping method by you know the method you want it to go just because you paid a lot for for next day air does not mean that it's going to go today um there's a line it's first come first serve unless you're a hospital or a first responder um for obvious reason a society that wants to prevent contagion will will you know make way for those we're not trying to be unfair and they're not paying more or anything like that um let me see what other questions people have uh, i think that is mostly it so yeah if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, but we will be sending people to this video on certain calls because too many calls are, are not being answered. We're doing our absolute best. Uh, please be patient with us. If at any time, even if you can't get to us and you say, oh my God, I paid for this or I bought this, I need a refund, we will get to it. We will refund you. We're not trying to profiteer or take anybody's money in any way that's unfair. We're trying to make as much product as possible to get to as many people as possible as quickly as possible. Um, yeah. Again, any questions, please let us know. Thank you for your time.